Hi everybody, this is altermedicine.org uh, electromagnetic fields measurement, professional measurement. I have a special surprise for you today and this is iPad 2. Here is my rig. Uh, I have like high frequency meter and low frequency meter. This With this I'm gonna measure electric and magnetic fields that uh, iPad emits when you turn it on and with this I'm gonna I'm gonna measure how how strong the wireless is and how dangerous the wireless is when you're using it with iPad so I just want to tell you in advance that it, I'm, I'm not advising to use wireless at all because it's too close to the body and the emissions are too too strong so basically uh, let's just turn it on here let's check the basic uh, electric and magnetic fields here electric is zero zero one volt per meter or zero right now I go over the device I go over the device zero zero two zero zero one that's really really low here you can see uh, safe under one weak 1 to 5 strong 5 to 50 so we are concerned about 5 to 50 volts per meter uh, okay and let's let's turn it on right and let's I have some stuff here let's just uh, let's try an ebook reader and let's check the let's check the <laughs> I forget to shoot the the device sorry and it's like still zero zero two. I don't see any emissions. Let's let's turn it around. Here, steam zero zero two. Let's let's uh, enable the movie. Let's play some movie. Same emission zero zero two zero zero two. So. My conclusion is that electric fields are not are not dangerous at all. You can wear it close to the body. You can wear it in your lap, on your crutch. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everywhere it's safe. But let's check magnetic fields. Magnetic fields are sometimes really dangerous, and most of the electric devices are emitting them all the time. So let's check. Let's switch to M, and let's see what the safe safe measurement is. So the strong emissions uh, starts from 100 to 500 Newton Tesla and weaker for 20, 20 to 100. So we are concerned about 20 to 100 that's classified as weak magnetic fields here. I cannot zoom, sorry. Uh, 20 to 100 uh, Newton Tesla. So mm, that's weak emissions so let's let's measure here at the bottom where the fields are the strong where we usually put our iPad on our body it's like 21 Newton Tesla 24 oops 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 oops, oops, oops. oops. it jumps a little bit 200 200 let's uh, it's 100 Newton Tesla right hundred thirty five but on average it's about if you measure from here if you measure close to the device it's something is go to 100 but if you measure around the device where you usually are you're some kind have a distance between your body and the device it's like it doesn't go over 20 newton tesla so that's classified as safe 
but if you're really close to the device especially here if you lean the device on your body here it's 30 around 30 sometimes jumps and here is some here is problematic uh, area but it varies 120 to here especially problematic it must be processor there or something so my conclusion is that iPad is pretty much safe but let's check also the wireless so let's turn this off and let's check the wireless emissions it's 003 uh, milliwatt per square meter 001 basically it's zero emissions so let's turn on the turn on the turn on the wireless for just for fun Wi-Fi Wi-Fi turn on oh. trying to get signal So it sends like peaks of uh, Wi-Fi element EMF field, high frequency field. 175. It's classified as strong. But what else would you expect? Wireless, wireless devices uh, radiate through. How much was it? 900? That's classified for the extreme Wi Fi. So, my uh, 800. Let's check the peak signal. Peak hold. It's gonna hold the maximum oh, 1200. That's extreme. 100, 1800. That's classified as extreme emission, extreme uh, high frequency field. So what can I say? It's basically usual Wi-Fi that I don't recommend you use. Basically, just use the the iPad for reading, for watching movies, for comics. That's my that's my uh, advice. That's my advice on iPad. Don't disable the Wi-Fi under the settings and just don't use it. Just don't use it. Now I disabled and there's no more emissions here. So if you disable Wi-Fi it's pretty much safe to have this device everywhere even under the pillow on your body everywhere so it's safe but without the wireless I would advise not to use wireless uh, if you want like these devices you can buy it on my website just contact me altermedicine.org so I have a lot of videos to do today so uh, let's keep in touch okay thanks